Is the crypto wealth transfer real? Is this happening? Is it going to happen? Or is Sir Lewis making all this stuff up? This might be your first video that you're watching of me or the, in crypto in general or the wealth transfer. Or maybe you already believe in this wealth transfer that we're in right now, right? Regarding cryptocurrency. And in this video, by the end of this, the, by the end of this video, you're going to have high conviction on why I believe that we are not just going to witness but already in a huge, one of the biggest, in my opinion, the biggest wealth transfer in the history of mankind. You're gonna have high conviction and confidence that it's already happening. And in my opinion, it's just going to accelerate at a faster speed. And you do not wanna be out of this, right? You don't wanna be that person that five, 10 years from now Maybe your children, maybe your friends ask you and like, you know, what were you doing during that time? You weren't buying crypto. You weren't buying, you know, these investment, these digital investments. Why? You don't want to be asked that. Right. And before I talk about this, guys, I want to give you guys some some examples here that, in my opinion, is going to change your minds it's going to really put you in this different reality and perspective because you know being in cryptocurrency it's kind of being like in this bubble right this crypto bubble where people are you know it's a niche within finance and i'm going to tell you right now this wealth transfer is not just regarding crypto finance but it's regarding the whole technological infrastructure that we live in that's going to change that's going to be part of this wealth transfer regarding cryptocurrency. It's not just about finance, the financial sector, okay? And there's gonna be a term that I'm gonna give you guys here that I'm pretty sure you guys already heard about it, but you're gonna start hearing about it much, much frequently. And that term is atomic settlements. You're gonna start hearing the term atomic settlements very frequently because this is what's happening, right? This is where everything is going towards atomic settlements, convenience regarding settlement, because the, the prehistoric infrastructure that we're in right now, right, with the banking system and sending money and wire, wire transfers and all these things, right? It's getting to a point where it's like, yes, was this the best technology at one point in the in, in back then, right? In 2008, 2005, 2015, whatever. Was this the best? Yes. But as you guys know, as we go through our time, we're evolving. We don't stay the same. We don't stay with the same infrastructure. We're evolving as humans and the technology and the finance and everything, right? People kind of get like hard headed and think like, no, this is it. This is going to be it forever. This is the fine. This is it forever, right? Baby boomers. There's a lot of people, even you know, our generation. They're like, no, this is it. You know, we're not going to evolve from this. It's not going to get. This is it. But it's not that way, guys. Things are always evolving, and the world is moving towards a digital, not just a digital infrastructure where you're like, yeah, I got money in the bank and on my phone, it's digital, right? It's digital. Not just that. But behind that, this atomic settlements where it's lightning speed getting settled, lightning speed. And into this digital infrastructure where it's decentralized to the point where you actually own it. Right? Because you look at your bank app, Bank of America, and, and you're like, okay, look, this is digital money. I mean, you know, but do you actually own it? No, you don't actually own it. It's the banks. And so, to understand this crypto wealth transfer, I have to push you on a perspective outside of crypto. So let's forget about crypto for a little bit. Let's, you know, let's get out of this crypto bubble. And let's, let's look at the world today, right? What's the reality of the world today? What's going on with the world today? Where is it going towards? Not just the financial sector, but the, the technological sector technology as itself and we see this acceleration ever since 2020 right i don't want to say what happened in 2020 but you know 
ever since 2020, we see this acceleration towards the digital dollar. In fact, I remember an article that was posted during that time regarding the digital dollar. I remember. And hours later, or a day later, you can look this up, but a day or a couple hours later, it was removed from you know where it was posted on these big news apps and you know articles. It was removed, I don't know why, but it was regarding the digital dollar and this move towards the digital dollar, this evolving towards the digital dollar, right? And then a year passes by, two years, and then we see this move towards the CBDC, Central Bank Digital Currency. Wow. When, you know, just a couple years before that, everyone said, oh yeah, this will never happen. We're not gonna move towards something like this. We're not gonna be cashless. We're not gonna go to digital. But here we are, right? Where they tell you, they flat out tell you what they're going to do. It's not a secret, it's not a conspiracy. It's the C central bank digital currency. This is the end goal. This is what we want, right? We want control. We want capital control. And guess what? They're gonna make it as convenient, as fast as possible to the point where Gen Z and the people today just can't, just can't ignore it. Right, it's 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 similar to right now with credit cards, with bank apps, with debit cards, and you know, it, it, to the point where you can't ignore it. I mean, you get rewards for using credit cards. You get rewards, and you know, you sign up, you get a three hundred dollar bonus. You got, you know, what I'm saying like they're gonna make it so good to the point that you can't ignore it. So, that's where we're moving to, and. How does this have a connection with crypto? How does this have a connection with crypto and the blockchain technology behind cryptocurrency itself? Because as the world is funneling towards this, right, where everyone's like ignoring it, it's like just whatever, it's going to align and it's been aligning with cryptocurrency and the blockchain technology to align with this and, and make it more efficient, make it more better, and this atomic settlements, like I said, where it's gonna be lightning speed, guys. It's gonna be so convenient that you just cannot ignore it. That's where the world is going towards, and that's how it's aligning with cryptocurrency. It's not like it's not like back before 2017, where cryptocurrency was this gimmick and blockchain technology and this and that. And back then, like there was not even a talks about a CBDC. It was like, it was like an alien thing, right? It's like cryptocurrency. What? Like back then, I would have been more skeptical in this investment. I would have been like, what? Is this a crypto? You know, is this a wealth transfer? I don't know. You know what I mean? You know, back then, people really had the guts to invest in crypto. And guess what? They made millions. They become they became millionaires. The people that invested, even just a chunk, they're like probably like, okay, maybe is this gonna catch on? Let me invest. You know, a portion of my portfolio. They became millionaires. Well, guess what? If it weren't for crypto to really be successful or like bring this wealth transfer, it would have just not evolved. It would have been, you know, unknown right now. It would have gone. It would have all gone to zero. It would have been just a gimmick. But it's not. It's been growing and growing and standing the test of time. Bear market after bear market. More trillions coming in. You have the ETFs. You have BlackRock. You have the biggest people buying it up. And people are still not convinced that we are living in one of the greatest wealth transfers in history, in the fourth industrial revolution. People think that we're just never going to evolve again. We're just stuck, right? The same, the same way that people in the past thought. People, you know, during the, the, the second industrial revolution, right? People in the factories, horses, you know, they didn't think that was going to catch on, and, and then, you know cars and and then uh the digital the clouds the cloud infrastructure right with microsoft and apple and all the people always thought it was a gimmick but we are evolving and this is the next industrial revolution that we're experiencing one of the greatest wealth transfers in my opinion so hang tight hang tight understand that this is happening 
this is real and you do not want to be, you want to be active you want to be an active investor you don't want to be spending your money on waste uh, on dumb things you want to be an active investor you want to be listening to the world what's going on because it's about to accelerate faster so I'm gonna keep you guys up to date my telegram is 100% free my discord is 100% free notes here is the only thing that I saw are my indicators in my patreon which is only for indicators it's not like a, a group so definitely join if you guys want to it's all in the description below but it is real guys and it's happening you just have to have an open mind and by the way not all projects are gonna survive not all of them so be an active investor know that it's real and follow for more love you guys so much i'll catch you guys <laughs>